Hello everyone, today we are here with a MacBook Pro 2011 to 2012. The problem with it is nothing and why I want to make this video because let's say you open up your MacBook Pro and trying to upgrade maybe um, hard drive or to change charging port or maybe to replace the uh, RAM stick or maybe to add some thermal paste okay or any servicing then you done almost everything then you stuck on the keyboard flex you tried so many times to put it back on but it was failure because it seems like it's horrible you tried many ways but the flex doesn't go in it goes in halfway then when you close it when you close the latch then it comes back again so what you should do it's really silly problem but it's not impossible to fix it I'm going to show you within second first at the beginning I was also struggling myself so the first strategy the procedure is to take out the battery that's the first one because when you leave the battery on even disconnected your finger can't reach that much to get the strength to put it in to the connector okay so first step we're going to take out the battery battery is removed even it's safe to do because it's not good to leave the battery on and work out so now I find out as you can see there is a blue it's like plastic tape in there which is quite strong to keep it balanced I mean straight that's why they added something which made it a little bit thicker okay so take out the battery I I think to have one tweezer like this is more handy but you need to be careful make sure there are a lot of uh, metallic connector okay uh, don't make it short circuited and something like that okay so what I did is first okay I tried to pull not pull put it upright as much as possible then connect the cable a bit okay and then one teeth of the tweezer goes at the front another teeth at the back and then try to close it okay sometimes it doesn't go in but you should have patience to be honest it doesn't go in let's disconnect the touchpad and then try okay. maybe we can try from other side the best way is if you have something a little stick to put some extra support to flex the cable you no know? cotton buds is the best one let me find a cotton bud gonna grab one cotton bud and keep it like this so you have little bit extra flex which one can help you to go in first first point it parallel okay see leave it inside and then try from one side Sometimes it's very difficult, you know. Yeah. So as you can see, when I tried underneath the cable, one side is gone, then the other side. Okay. Yeah. It went in there easily. Very careful. You can put extra pressure on it. If you do, it breaks easily. Now I believe that's enough distance already went in but I want to double check otherwise it's going to come off or maybe uh, 
uh, the keyboard would not work because of disconnection again yeah I think it's done already so close the latch and now it's done should work so let's double check it's working or not if not we're gonna open up and try again but you should have patience. don't be like feels like oh, I'm failure this is end of the day and I can uh, put it back on okay that happened most of the time with 2011 12 and 13 uh, with 13 inch and even with a bigger one okay so I'm gonna put it back on okay. and see how it goes before I put any extra uh, I mean the lid back lid Charger is there. Let's hit the power. It's turning on. It's quite slow, you know. Uh, let's check. Should come up. loading up so this is a very silly problem might be you're gonna think like oh this is everybody knows but believe me myself um, it happened with many people you know my I run a small business uh, based in London and almost all day every day the people come with different sort of problem yeah so now as you can see that's been the keyboard plugged in properly every single key are working even the caps lock light as you can see the on so that's mean it was fixed properly so the video you might think like oh, this is a silly problem we can fix uh, I mean that is not a problem it just if I know how to open it up then I should know how to close it back but believe me a lot of customer I received they bring their MacBook Pro which is back lid is open I asked them what happened they just give me a little smile and say oh I open it up now I don't know how to close back the keyboard flex okay so that's the video should help so what you need to put it back if you are failure to reconnect the keyboard flex you need a small any size tweezer like that if plastic is the best you need a cotton buds for extra support to bring the flex a little bit upper and that's all make sure you take out the battery first and then try okay so what are you gonna do example example this is the base okay example that is the base so you know under the flex it's a little bit thicker like that so one of them point will go at the front I mean to the actual motherboard connector and other side would go underneath the flex and then you're gonna try from one side then the another side normally if you ever have experience with Windows based PC you would realize if you don't try both side at the same time to reconnect the keyboard flex it doesn't go in you know but with MacBook Pro is different you try one side then push from the other side then it will be okay it's not like uh, if you compare to Windows PC it could be any brand it could be Dell HP all of them they are standard procedure it goes in straight away both side a MacBook Pro doesn't you don't have to follow follow this procedure try from one side then the other side then put the flex in once you see it straight power it up because the power button is separate with 2011 12 and 13 and then hit the button check if you, if the sensor is okay if you can type that's mean it's connected properly so thanks for watching if you have any difficulties still let me know in the comment section below and subscribe my channel for the future video uh, I'm planning to get some more 
uh, easy tutorials okay so stay with me by then thanks for watching and bye for now